disclaimer before you take any healthy fruits and vegetables be sure to ask your doctor do your own research get your doctor's permission and then take it this channel is for providing only information regarding fruits and vegetables so your doctor knows the best what's your body is and what you need what you don't so you get your doctor's permission and this channel is not responsible for any a good thing or bad thing coming out of eating any fruits and vegetables hi smell I hope all of you are doing awesome today we're going to talk about pineapple as you all know pineapple is really 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 amazing fruit simply because pineapple has the enzyme bromelain and which helps us digest our protein now you see some countries you see they will uh, serve meat and along with that they will decorate it with uh, uh, circle circle pineapple cut any kind of say pineapple cut but mainly pineapple all around the meat so it's important if you eat meat you eat pineapple because you see uh, since we are born till whatever age we are at um, our enzymes in the stomach is very limited and then it finishes so as you see people get older they don't look so good because they're not digesting their food they develop all sorts of diseases which they call so-called age related degeneration but it's actually nothing to do with age related degeneration is what happens as we age doesn't matter what fruit or vegetables we're eating we're not being able to take the nutrition from it because the enzymes in our stomach which digest the fruits and vegetable is reducing so it's pretty much same like uh, suppose women they are born with certain amounts of eggs and as they age then the eggs age and then it's very difficult to have babies at older age and even if people have it they have a lot of health issues but it's easier to have it during their 20s rather than 30s 40s 50s so it's the same thing you're born with all the enzymes you need in your body and then as you grow old it reduces reduces so then people have also sub diseases and body is not so healthy and not so um, like youthful or energetic all that so now since our enzyme finishes how can we replace that enzyme the easiest way to replace all the enzymes which is finishing in your stomach is to eat raw fruits and vegetables and not cook it because cooking destroys the enzymes and we need the enzymes in fruits and vegetables to digest them so so we have to eat the fruits and vegetables which going to replace those enzymes and easy to digest them so as long as you take raw fruits and vegetables you're going to be able to digest them and get the nutrition from it if they are true fruits and vegetables now if there are some sort of junk called fruits and vegetables then they don't have any nutrition to begin with so how can you get it so it's best to get organic I know it's expensive but some people do grow it um, and that's how you can get it so so pineapple has loads of enzyme bromelain so it helps us to digest protein and without as you know the proteins are the building blocks for our cells so as so I don't mean by protein that you have to eat meat. I mean many, many fruits and vegetables, they all have protein. Greens have protein. 
uh, some people do eat tofu and all that and that has protein and a lot of beans dry beans have protein lentils have protein brown rice has protein so there are a lot of choices so a lot of choices for the people who don't even eat meat it's a lot of choices so without protein the body cannot um, cell cannot divide cell cannot multiply its body cannot generate new cells so protein is needed but not the animal protein just all kinds of vegetarian protein and some people do eat any animal protein but that's okay if they want to they want to and some people don't and that's okay too they don't want to they don't want to so this uh, pineapple helps tremendously with digestion especially digestion of protein and it reduces the risk of cancer most of the fruits and vegetables if you start writing down and make columns like what do they do and you will see pretty much 99 percent fruits and vegetables actually deals with all of your diseases and reduces or eliminates the risk of cancers and boost most of the fruits and vegetables boost your immunity and suppresses inflammation and which is the main causes of gout arthritis and every and any disease starts from inflammation and swelling so pineapple is great for inflammation swelling of joints and all that like gout and it also helps to speed up the recovery after surgery and it's also great for people who are doing heavy exercise weightlifting and all that and it's really great for promoting a good um, digestive system ability to digest your food especially protein and they are really amazingly delicious and very sweet too a lot of so the people who has sugar they need to watch out maybe get your doctor's permission for anyone just a disclaimer anyone who's going to eat any kind of healthy fruits vegetables nuts seeds whatever ask your doctor doctor knows the best for you uh, if you are allowed to have any healthy food ask them and if they say okay then okay so I'm not responsible for any benefit or harm coming out of eating any healthy nutritious food so it's packed with nutrients and antioxidants and packed with good um, uh, digestive system promoting enzymes and it uh, battles with inflammation and swelling and it's best to be eaten raw any kinds of fruits and vegetables it's better if we eat them uh, washed clean and raw because then they have the enzymes and a lot of people cannot digest raw vegetable they cook it and I myself cook it I rather cook it little bit than raw but fruits definitely all raw because there's no need to cook fruit but vegetables you know some people like to cook a little bit now so pineapples are really beneficial for our health mainly for digestion digesting protein and a big immune booster and it also helps with cold and cough and like asthma nagging cough if people eat pineapple for a few days and they will see that cough vanishing now a big cup of pineapple has only 83 calories and i'm not the person to be counting calories because i think fruits and vegetables you eat it until you feel full and content no need to um, count your calories on that but unless you have some issues with your sugar diabetic sugar level goes up obviously you need to watch out those now it has literally no fat and it has one gram of protein has lots of carbohydrate as with all the fruits and but uh, this carbohydrate is easily digested by the body 
and it has 2.3 grams of fiber a lot of fiber it has 88 percent of your daily value of vitamin c a lot of manganese more than 100 percent vitamin b6 copper thiamine folate potassium magnesium niacin niacin is another good one and pentonic acid riboflavin iron so it has a lot of things it has also a little bit of phosphorus zinc calcium vitamin a and k and vitamin c manganese vitamin c manganese um these are really essential for immune health and um, vitamin c is needed for iron absorption and growth and development so as you see pineapple is really great and this has this manganese which gives the antioxidant properties and it helps with your growth and metabolism and antioxidant also helps to prevent the oxidation in your body which helps to get rid of inflammation swelling cancer and chronic diseases so there you have it your fruits and vegetables are the savior let food be thy medicine Pineapple also contain other micronutrients such as copper, thiamine, vitamin B6, which are really essential for our body, especially vitamin C. And as I mentioned, it contains the disease-fighting antioxidant, which uh, is great for warding off oxidative stress. Oxidative stress is caused by tons of free moving radicals which are unstable molecules that causes cell damage and they are the one linked with chronic inflammation diabetes heart disease immune problem and cancer especially now pineapple is rich in antioxidant and flavonoids called polyphenol and so these are really good for protecting your heart protecting the body from cancer and overall giving you a good healthy body so i have done many fruits and vegetables the one i see is all of them common is they are loaded with antioxidant and polyphenols which are really needed now pineapples are rich source of antioxidant which uh, reduces the risk of heart disease diabetes and cancer especially type 2 diabetes but a person already has the diabetes so they need to ask their doctor how much they can eat if they can eat because it does have a lot of sugar now you will find pineapple served as i say alongside of the meat and poultry um, in countries like brazil and you see because they are actually digestive enzymes they will help you digest your meat and bromelain in pineapple functions as protease which breaks down the protein molecules into the uh, body and um, so uh, bromelain is really necessary for breaking down the proteins in the fats and this is especially helpful for people with pancreatic problems pancreatic insufficiency well the pancreas does not make enough digestive enzymes so they cannot digest fat protein and carbohydrate that's why most of the people who has pancreatic problem or pancreatic cancer usually die in within very short period of time because of not being able to digest their protein carbohydrate and fats and as they cannot eat food so they become very weak now bromelain 
is also used commercially as meat tenderizer due to its ability to break down meat proteins so pineapple is really great and it protects our body from many diseases and helps our digestive system it breaks down protein it protects our body from um, type 2 diabetes cancer and any kind of inflammatory diseases uh, all the diseases comes from inflammation and cancer is actually a disease characterized by uncontrolled cell division cell growth and is usually linked to oxidative stress now um once uh, i was in a biology class in the college and i remember in the book it was said and teacher was reading that and we kind of highlighted that and it said that most people actually gotten cancer after severe stressful event in their life mostly like death uh, of some close family member like husband wife for each other and in after divorce after a huge trauma after a huge sadness uh, people have gotten cancer so it's actually linked to severe um, inflammation severe stress in the body and then the cells grows uncontrollably but um, this is pineapple is really good for mood too because pineapple has serotonin and it's good for giving a boost to the mood and pineapple enzyme many people use it alongside with their cancer therapy because it helps people digest food and bromelain have anti-cancerous effect so it boosts the uh, immune system too and it contains many vitamins minerals enzymes as i talked about it so pineapples lowers the risk of get this viral and bacterial inf in infections so the children who ate fruits most of the times pineapples had more disease fighting white blood cell than other children who did not so it's very important for everybody to eat some fruits daily and uh, it was found that the adult who had chronic sinusitis if they took bromelain um, uh, in pineapple they had significantly less problem with the sinusitis sinusitis so bromelain can reduce the inflammation in the body and it is really now it may help with the symptoms of something which is going on and so it may help to reduce the symptoms um, of cold cough and all that so it has anti-inflammatory properties so it's good to add that to your diet after asking your doctor if your doctor says okay for you to consume any kind of healthy fruits and vegetables then please do that and so yeah pineapple is really good for people with arthritis and joint inflammation and joints um, swelling of the joints like gout 
because it has the bromelain which is uh, anti-inflammatory and it's really good for the body so and it's good for muscle and like muscle cramp and all that so people who are doing a lot of exercise they should do uh, pineapple daily uh, some like a little bowl or something with every fruit and vegetable like go easy on it now pineapples are really great for our skin and hair and nails and it also reduces wrinkles and it's great for hair and pineapple mask like pineapple crushed um, in yogurt and a little bit of olive oil if you make a mask and put it on your hair and keep it 30 minutes to an hour and wash it up just with water and then you can see the pineapple made the hair strong silky shiny hair becomes very good same thing for face mask with pineapple like pineapple crust with yogurt and a little bit turmeric and a little bit of chickpea flour and then just put as a mask in the face and keep 30 minutes to an hour and then wash it off it will make the skin really shiny beautiful because of all the good properties in pineapple and it's good for people as I mentioned running jogging exercising to take pineapple it's really good for them for the people who has joint pain and for the people who have any kind of inflammatory diseases so overall pineapple is really another amazing fruit and should be added to our list to consume little bit daily you know it should just rotate some week some fruit some week some fruit some day some fruit so this was the video about pineapple be sure to ask your doctor before you take anything new or add anything to your diet because everybody has different different conditions taking different different medication and it might uh, contradict with some medications so be sure to ask these doctors before you do that mm, so thank you so much don't forget to like subscribe comment and share and i'll see you with many many more we're going to explore all the fruits vegetables nuts seeds spices everything as much as we can because uh, as long as we know it we can grow it we can eat it and get the benefit of it so thank you bye bye disclaimer before you take any healthy fruits and vegetables be sure to ask your doctor do your own research get your doctor's permission and then take it this channel is for providing only information regarding fruits and vegetables so your doctor knows the best what's your body is and what you need what you don't so you get your doctor's permission and this channel is not responsible for any uh, good thing or bad thing coming out of eating any fruits and vegetables and